Hello, everybody, and welcome out to our essential oil class tonight. <laughs> um, our topic tonight is clove essential oil. So, um, clove bud specifically, and Jade Baldwin will talk more about that. Um, and then to see Jade Baldwin, our presenter. La, 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 la. Okay, so uh, I'll go ahead and share the screen. Um, for everybody who is joining us from well, everybody's joining us online tonight. We're just going to mute you if you um, want to answer a question or something. Go ahead and unmute yourself. And for everybody who's joining us um, through the podcast or uh, YouTube channel, welcome, welcome. Um, post your comments below. We do see them and we do answer them. It's a podcast. I don't think podcasts have yeah. comments. Um, that's probably why you haven't said anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um, Without further ado, let's get into um, clove essential oil. Yeah. You might want to unmute people. I want to ask some questions, honey. Okay. All right. I'm the moderator. I'll, I'll unmute. Um, just one second. Okay. All right. So tonight we're going to talk about clove. Uh, do you guys have any experiences about clove? Um, that you want to share first off? Or maybe we should say clove experiences. Mm. <laughs> what have you used cloves for? What do you know about clove already? Because we don't want to teach you everything that you already know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be exciting. So um, it's kind of numbing, so it can help with the uh, like in your mouth if you have soreness or whatever uh -huh. um but that's all about all i know about clove so. well, it's a fabulous antioxidant the highest most potent antioxidant yes and so that gives it some credibility yeah. i think i, I did that know. one time too but i forgot i don't know if it truly is but ever since i was little it has always relaxed me <laughs> I don't know, it's a soothing thing, but I don't know if that's just because of my, the thoughts that are, I relate to it or what, but I can instantly smell it. Like we didn't know what was on guard and we were all trying to guess. I was like, I don't know, but it has clove. I can smell, I can recognize it in anything that it's in. I really just like it. Mm -hmm. I like it for sore throats and it reminds me of Christmas hams. <laughs> <laughs> Put little clove buds in. Before we had On Guard, my aunt always took tangerine and we stuck clothes in it and we put it on the counters like for Thanksgiving on the table as a yeah. centerpiece because it was like the aroma always smelled good. But we didn't know. And then when we got the On Guard, my mom's like, it smells like that orange thing you do because <laughs> it was from my dad's side of the family. So she was like, that orange thing that you always do. And I was like, yeah, it must have orange and it must have clove in it. I don't know what else is in it, but um, yeah, it does remind me of Thanksgiving or family and Christmas people. Yeah. Orange, I'm glad you discovered that one. So it's very <laughs> old. It's always with with orange. <laughs> it's very old um, spice. And they use it to um, with preserving. Because it has that ability to um, protect against, um, you know, environmental threats. So it's really good that way. Um, so you can see this green there. It's uh, just little buds. And in DoTerra, um, DoTerra uh, clove essential oils is just from the bud. Because uh, some companies, I, I heard, I don't know, I haven't experienced other, other people's clothes before. They said that they use more than just the buds. So we're pretty fortunate that doTERRA clove is uh, so special and uh, it's actually very powerful. Um, like Debbie Gordon said that it's a very powerful antioxidant. It's one of the, one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful and um, source of antioxidants in the world, okay? So yes, we use clove oil for gums and tea. So that's one of the first things that we want to share about clove. Um, so, you know, if you want to, if you're not already using the doTERRA um, on guard toothpaste, 
you can put maybe a drop of clove onto your toothpaste and um, use that and to add to your toothpaste because it will help protect the teeth and gums. Okay. So my, my grandfather used baking soda mm -hmm. as toothpaste and, and that's what we did try that before we doTERRA came out with the toothpaste um, mm -hmm. and put a bit of essential oils on that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but now we have long guard um, toothpaste, so. That was an interesting experience. Which has clothes in it. <laughs> yes, and um, we have people doing oil pulling. So a clove is going to be. Does everybody know what oil pulling is? Yep. So clove is going to be a very a powerful um, way to enhance your oil pulling. So it's a Ayurvedic technique. So what you do is just do one to two tablespoons of um, virgin olive, um, virgin coconut oil. Um, you can do that in the morning when you have an empty stomach, and you're supposed to swish ten minutes uh, or twenty minutes. And um, if you put a drop or two of clove oil in there and swish, it'll really um, enhance you know, that uh, technique because this technique is meant to help uh, improve your overall health, um, improve your oral health. And I put a little poster here um, of the benefits of oil pulling because um, I've met so many people that have had amazing results with the oil pulling. Um, one of which is my auntie and uh, she, one of her tooth was um, kind of, looks like it was falling off <laughs> and she wanted to save it because she didn't want to have false teeth. And she said she used the on guard oil, which it has the clothes. And she did that oil pulling for about three months and it kind of reattached itself. So it was amazing. I have friends that's, that claim that the cavities are filled in and um, doing oil pulling for about four months. And, um, you know, that's, that's unheard of. But, uh, you know, we, we all um, have our own experiences. So if you're consistent and you do that, you never know what the results are going to be. Definitely worth trying a mm -hmm. natural. Yeah. So um, the benefits is it whitens and it strengthens your teeth. So that's good. It uh, improves your immunity because it, basically it's detoxing you and uh, um, helping with the germs. It improves um, your gum health. It helps detoxify your body. It helps with clear skin and increases energy and it helps support mental clarity. So those are the benefits of oil pulling. Okay, so clove is one of those oils that I would have in my emergency kit. Um, you know, when we have, say, a toothache, it's one of those first oils that I would use for the toothache. Um, and the second would be the on guard, okay? And uh, all you have to do is just put a little bit on the area that uh, you need help with and it's numbing, okay? And um, for babies, it's a wonderful oil for teething. Now, everyone is going to be different. Um, my sister, she dilutes the clove oil and she just rubs it on the kid's jawline. Some people like to do it on the gums. So it's, you know, up to everybody, but you can um, just dilute it and see how um, diluted you want it to be. Um, so anybody have any questions or comments so far um, with what we've talked about? I um, actually did go to the dentist and they looked at a filling that they did fill out and they said that it is not the same anymore as it was when they fixed it the first time. And I told Jason that I believed, I said, well, the on guard um, toothpaste, it'll stop, the, it'll start to heal that. Because I thought it wouldn't happen, but I knew I was going to go to the dentist next month. Didn't worry about it. And I said, if it hurts, I'll rush in. But I just said I could feel that it was different. And he didn't believe me. And then the dentist said, you know, it, it's changed. It's like it grew. It's not. It's not how it used to be. So I thought maybe I was imagining it, but um, no. He just told me that it was true. Oh yeah, awesome. That's awesome. My friend I told you about the um, healing. She said that they had an X-ray. Came back 
months later after oil play for all the, that time and the doctor couldn't find it. He looked at the x-ray and he looked at her and it's like, where is it? So they didn't do a filling after all. It's really interesting oh. how our body knows how to rejuvenate. I'm kind of thinking of putting it off just to see if I can have it fixed all together on its own, as long as it doesn't bother me. Yeah, who knows, right? <laughs> I have a number of dental dental um, experiences with Clove myself. Um, in our family, actually, my my oldest son was told he needed a root canal about four years, four and a half years ago. I needed Clove for four days, and he's never been back for the root canal. And um, every time we have dental work in our family, I am using Clove oil. We just had Aaron had some teeth pulled. I bought my mouth too many teeth for their space, and um, Benjamin's about to go in for oral surgery. Um, with some teeth removal, we've used all kinds of clove. It's been very, very helpful. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I would um, keep that in mind for you know your family um, oral and teeth needs. Okay. Um, the other thing, like Debbie Gordon was mentioning, is that it is very high in antioxidants. It's um, I feel like that's why they put the clove oil in the Lifelong Vitality Pack um, and the DDR Prime Oil Blend. And of course, it's in the outside. We talked about that. But if you look here um, on this, can you see that screen? We have um, sandalwood oil. So this is a, it's called Borac Score, and that's the score that they give um, to measure antioxidant levels um, and uh, clove bud leaves them all behind. Mm -hmm. so that's really amazing. I know I had a lot of friends come up to me and tell me a really health, um, healthy juices, berries, and they try to share that with me. And you know, they said really, really high in antioxidants. And I say, wow, you know, what is it? You know, but it's like about a thousand. But here we have um, clove bud oil that's like 10 million on the score, on the OREC score. So that's pretty significant. Sometimes people say it's high in antioxidant, this you know, berry or that thing, um, but it's compared to what? So we look at clove, that's wow. Okay. Know about that? Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and for those people um, who are wondering, antioxidants, that's good. What does it do? Uh, we've made a list here. And of course, you can Google it. There's just so much information out there. But I, ha I found all sorts of things like it, antioxidants help prevent reduce macular de regeneration, helps with memory and brain functions. I mean, if, if you think about it, it's like a, a cleaner. It uh, goes in there and finds the, um, you know, unpaired, uh, um, what do we call that? Uh, I don't know, he always lost the word, free radicals. And, um, you know, goes in there and cleans them out. Says, hey, you know, stop causing havoc. Let's follow me out. So, yeah, the other benefits are, is that it supports a healthy pregnancy. I was surprised because I'm all, oh, well, how does that really help? But then, of course, it just um, helps with immunity. So, Debbie, do um, you want to comment on that? Yeah, the. Um, Debbie Gordon, have you used that? And recommended people have you seen people use that in pregnancy clove in pregnancy clove not specifically for pregnancy related issues but certainly for well you know what i can't say that because when you use um when you use it for the dental issues pregnancy brings on sometimes some real interesting dental issues and bleeding gums and so clove is a, is an as an option i typically recommend on guard but clove is an option yeah for that most definitely so uh, I read that um, and it improves breastfeeding and, and um, helps reduce aging, protects the skin, helps with the immune system, helps with a healthy heart. Of course, eye health, and we mentioned that before. 
um, emotion and um, mood balancing and it increases energy. So, I mean, if you want the benefit of antioxidants, it's clove. So we'll put a little poster here that you can share with people. Okay. Now, the other thing too is addictions. So sometimes people have that craving and I know that black pepper helps with uh, cigarette addictions, but um, you know, they say that clove does too. So one drop of each um, on the tongue will help with that. Um, so uh, another thing for sugar addiction that I read is clove and wild orange. So that's another option if we want to, if you want to try that. So, you know, there's so many different variations of things, but sometimes it works for some people. So you might want to just try something that, um, and might find that it works for you. I have had great results with clove for addiction, tobacco especially. And in fact, Indiana University did a study and they used mostly on guard, but they had clove and on guard available, did a great study on smoking cessation and um, great results, so it's, it's effective. You just gotta apply it every time that craving comes, and if that's every hour or every two hours, you just gotta apply it again when that craving comes. And they, so they have to really want to let go of that addiction. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They have to really want to. So I've had great results and not so great results because, and the difference is, do they really want to? Yeah, I always ask of that. Yeah. Do you really want to stop smoking? Yeah. And you tried black pepper as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those two go together. But the addiction is just um, a, a covering, cover up of um, facing a, a more serious emotional issue underneath. If they're willing to, to face that, um, you know, it's going to be part of their healing. Okay, so it helps with the liver and brain function. Okay, and uh, Basically, you put that on the bottom of your feet because it's so detoxifying for your body. It actually goes in there and cleans out the receptors. So if anything is blocking and clogging up your, the receptors on your cells, it, it does a very good job at cleaning that out. And so, of course, your cells are able to communicate more effectively. So, um, you know, of course, the brain functions and, and all the organs will function much better. Alrighty, so that is the body, um, how clove can help with the body. Um, I'm going to move on, yes? Yeah, I think clove was also um, one of those um, oils that, uh, or spices, I should say, that the robbers used during the bubonic oh, plague. Yeah. Um, and that's probably why it's included in the on guard blend, mm -hmm. but it's, I think it's long been kind of um, used for those uh, protective qualities. Mm -hmm. And it makes ham taste really good. <laughs> Sorry. Not that we eat a lot of Sorry. that. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I think, uh, do we do we skip over some? Um, I think I covered everything to do with the body. Cold feet? Oh, yeah. I guess I can <laughs> skip that one. Um, mix three drops. Not that anybody gets cold feet around here. No, this is actually long-term <laughs> cold feet. So it's a circulation oh, mean, concern. Mean the temperature of your feet, not that you don't want to go through with something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So three drops of clove, six drops of aroma touch, three drops of lemon, three drops of cypress. You mix it together. And Dr. Susan Lawton says you need to do it every three hours. Wear warm co uh, mm -hmm. cotton socks. Which makes sense because that's usually over three to six hours. It metabolizes. Metabolize, yeah. But it's for people who really want to um, get the circulation going. Yeah. So. And wear socks. Yes. Put socks on. Yeah. And that's important. So I do that for a lot of um, older people. And it smells good too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that's a nice blend, it looks like. Yeah. Hello, we have another person join us. Welcome. It's Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's go to the mind. The, mind. the clove oil is the oil of boundaries. Um, so when we have um, difficulty with our boundaries, it's a good idea to actually use melaleuca as well. 
because Clover and Melaleuca are very similar in that way. Um, so I would do one to two drops of each of those oils uh, and put that on the bottom of your feet and say, I have healthy boundaries. Maybe you could explain what it means to have a problem with boundaries. Mm -hmm. I know some yep. people. Yeah. So boundaries is when you, um, it's, it's an emotional boundaries, it's a spiritual boundary where you, I think, can't say no and you give yourself too much. So we have, if you think of like a meter, um, you, you can serve, 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 serve to a point where it's healthy. And then if you keep going and giving of yourself and serving, it, you know, you go over to the self-abuse site. So it becomes self-abuse and uh, you, you, you know, you forget yourself, you lose yourself, you don't take care of yourself and um, you, you do more than uh, you are happy to do, but you do it anyways. Or letting people dump their problems yeah. on you or, or stealing you. your energy, vampires. I think yeah. that's a good explanation. That sounds really cool. <laughs> Sucking your energy. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a little bit more <laughs> than that. It's people who don't realize that they have the power to um, to stop that. They they feel like they're a victim, and um, they they feel defeated before they even start. So if you feel like when you get into a situation, you feel like you're going to lose right away, um, the clove oil might be a good oil for you to to work with, okay? Because then it helps you remember that you can. Um, be able to say no to things. So I am going to read some of the things here because there's so much to talk about here. Uh, so clove oil supports individuals to let go of victim mentality. So these individuals often feel defeated, uh, dominated, controlled and enslaved by others. So they perceive that they do not have power to stand up for themselves. And um, the fear of rejection comes from the lack of healthy personal boundaries. And essentially, they're rejecting themselves, so they're always fearing that others reject them too. Okay, so um, I find that sometimes we blame, we blame others for being, um, you know, being too, too strong, too pushy, too whatever, um, and it's only because we let them, and we don't realise that we do that. Okay. Anybody want to comment on that? Does anybody have an experience with clove in this regard? With someone, does anybody have experience of someone sucking someone else's energy? <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be interesting. Yes, but I can't talk about it. That's right. <laughs> it's Edward Cullen, isn't it? <laughs> 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 but you know, deep down inside, um, if we work on having a healthy self love, we actually become less intimidated by others and we start to feel um, safety and equality. So I feel like um, it wasn't my favorite oil, it didn't stink or anything, but it was pretty strong. And um, it's one of those oils that you sort of have to. Um, you know, make friends with because it's pretty, pretty powerful. It's not like a floral smell that you can, you know, like. <coughs> um, you know, physically it helps cleanses the receptors, um, and mentally it cleanses your mind too. It helps you get rid of all of that junk thinking, um, the self-defeating critical thinking. And so, you know, even if it's hard for you to, to get rid of some of the old thinking, slowly and surely that clove oil will help you start shifting those toxins out. So you don't have to feel like you have to do it all alone and um, think positive all the time. So that's a good thing about the clove. I, the reason why we put it on the bottom of our feet, and especially in the middle, is... Um, that's where we have our problems. The, the, um, the third chakra area um, and in the middle of your feet is around that, that area. And it stops you from 
action and moving forward um, because you feel like you're going to be defeated. Somebody's going to pull you back, uh, you know, knock you down, cut you, you know, off, whatever. Okay. So uh, I think of clove as a powerful um, insect repellent too, in, in a way, because environment, um, you know, from environmental threats, from things such as fungus. And, um, you know, fungus is this organism that is codependent. I, I think of fung fungi as a, a scavenger, you know, feeding off dead stuff. So, uh, you know, kind of like buzzards um, cleaning up roadkill on the highway. Not um, like fun guy, like someone who's really great to be around. He's no. Fun to play with. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just keeping it real people. <laughs> yeah, so Louise Hay says that fungus is is, is, is um, stagnating beliefs, it's refusing to release the past, it's letting the past rule today. So, you know, for these people, it seems like, well, they, they were mean and bullying in the past, and so they're going to be mean and bullying today. Um, you know, and it's hard for them to let go, so they hold on, and, our, and the physical body holds on to the fungus too. Okay. Um, it's kind of the same thing with like vampires with taking it to the end and taking the name at the end. Yeah, it's a codependency. Even though it's not healthy, they have to hold on to it anyways. Mute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, you know, the liver cleanses and filters the blood. And the liver also stores anger and bitterness and frustration and hatred. And um, clove helps cleanses the liver. So it will help remove some of these emotions too. So when you use clove, if you experience anger and bitterness and frustration and hatred and emotions like that, just, um, just know that you are cleansing and uh, you know, work through that. Don't suppress it and, and let it out, let it go. Okay. Yeah. Anybody have any questions at this point? No, okay. it's all good. All right. Yep. And uh, let's go to spiritually. The spiritually clove helps create um, healthy boundaries, spiritual boundaries for you. It encourages you to, um, you know, actually disconnect with people sometimes. <laughs> So we talked about marjoram oil, um, helping people connect to people, helping people relate to people, um, and clove oil does the complete opposite. It says disconnect, because um, sometimes we, we connect so much that you don't know where one person begins and one person ends, and um, you're, you're so involved, and uh, you don't know if that's your problem, your energy, your... Um, emotion or it's theirs so clove helps you kind of disconnect and step back and um, i wrote here it's like partitioning and temporarily disconnecting so you can uh, find your bearing again okay just want to see if everybody is okay yep anyone have questions or comments oh, good morning. Good morning. yep they're all connected. <laughs> okay. Yep. So um, when you um, disconnect, spend some time alone to discover who you are, what you uh, really like, um, what you like, what you don't like, and um, what are your passions. Um, so if I ask these questions, sometimes it's a difficult thing for people to answer. Sometimes they don't know what they like. They don't know who they are. And uh, so they're very conforming. And um, so it's very difficult to, to know what uh, your special path is as part of this grand plan um, of the universe. Okay. So that's why it's important to disconnect. All righty. Um, anyone want to ask questions or make comments? No. 
All right, so we can move on. <laughs> um, so this is just healthy boundaries. At the very root of it all um, is a lack of self-love. And self-love comes from connected to God and being um, connected to the power source. So it's not the same as self-esteem. Okay, this here is just a personal integrity, just knowing who you are and what you bring to the table, what you can add to the human experience, okay? And just respecting yourself and accepting you for being who you are. Alrighty, so here, Clove helps you choose your life path. Um, it allows you to own your thoughts and own your actions, okay? So use clove oil and, um, you know, find out who you are and, uh, you know, you will start to evolve if you don't know who you are. Um, you know, you'll grow and you'll figure, figure it out like everyone else. Yep. But just give yourself that time and then you'll be able to be strong. That's what clove does. It helps you feel protected and safe. Do you have any stories of anybody using clove? I'll let you know in a month. <laughs> <laughs> Besides for teeth, gums, that kind of thing, and throat, like I make a cough spray with it, but I'm going to be using it for the emotional, spiritual. So I'll let you know. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I have not used it for the spiritual effects, so I'm, I'm really tuned into this now. So thank you. I've helped a lot of people with the spiritual side. Um, and I just feel like a lot of us don't know who we are. And uh, we have situations in our lives that we don't realize that we can, we can change and we can have control over just by disconnecting a little bit. Solitude. Mm -hmm. Getting some time alone, and yeah, yeah, it's a totally different oil to marjoram and uh, cedar wood. Hey, <laughs> yeah, well, that's it for clove. So, we have our top 10. Oh, um, so, here. so, question mm -hmm. from maybe someone out there might have this question, but I'll ask yeah. it anyways. So, when you're when you're applying it for uh, spirit mm -hmm. uh, or um, mental. Mm -hmm. um, things what do you what would you recommend as the best application oh method? yeah good good question i, I this is this is interesting <laughs> i put it on the back of my neck um but sometimes i uh, just put it on the bottom of your feet helps to i'm smelling it and internally because look if you do something physical actually you're making uh, changes and new patterns in your brains in your mind too so, so maybe you do it both ways Maybe um, aromatic would mm -hmm. be a really good, you know, if you're trying to affect your emotions or your mm -hmm. memory or something like that. Yep. And remember, I, the clove is in on guard. It's yep. in Deer Prime. Mm -hmm. It's in um, the Lifelong Vitality Pack. In the Z Omega. In the Z Omega. Yeah, in the Z Omega. So if, you have, if people have toe fungus, for example, um, you know, on guard oil, has clove, and you can use clove too, but it helps you kind of help uh, get rid of that um, parasite of some, it's a sort of parasite, isn't it? And that will help you determine where you're at and gauge your level of, um, I guess, boundary. When that concern, the physical concern is resolved, you know um, how well you've done. Basically, you no longer hold on to that. Yeah. So one lady came to me and, um, you know, it was with uh, Melaleuca, but it's a similar situation. And I told her that that fungus on a big toe means fungus in your head too. <laughs> and I said, do you have like foggy brains and things? And she said, yeah, I can't remember stuff. I can't think things clearly. And uh, so she used the oils and it was actually um, itching her some more. It swelled up a little bit 
and uh, she said it was really uncomfortable and I said work with it what is the oil teaching you to let go to say no to figure out who you are and so after about two months I think it was a month and a half and two months later she said that um, she's got new toes and she said that was um, a 25 year old problem that she had so one of her legs it wasn't for both but it was one of them and uh, yeah, she's like, I've got new feet. <laughs> Your toes grew back. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, 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 that physical side of things is a good way for you to gauge how well you did. Okay, so we have any of the physical problems. Um, take a clue from that um, and ask yourself, am I doing that emotionally and spiritually too? Yeah, allowing people to to use me and um, abuse me. And sometimes we feel like we need that. There's, there's people who need people to need them in some way. So here's the hand up with the top 10 uses of clove bud oil. Mm -hmm. So clove oil, but we've added the word bud there just because it's- From the bud. The, yeah, the tear is special from the clove bud. So just as a recap, we've talked about gum support, oil pulling, toothaches, teething. Um, we talked about diluting that teething recipe. Okay, <laughs> immunity, long-term cold feet, and that doesn't mean, you know. Not making decisions. Yeah, antioxidant, maybe there's another oil. <laughs> um, antioxidant effects, smoking addictions. Um, could you use it for this for other addictions as well? Um, yes, they have, there's other oral addictions, like um, people saying bad things. <laughs> it's like cleaning out your mouth. Oh, yeah. Oral addictions. Yeah, oral addictions. And we might have to change this, the, the clothes too big, it's covering the words, and we don't have the tin there. Yeah, yeah okay. we'll fix that. But, you know, it's like saying bad things about yourself, and it's such a, a bad habit of it that it's an addiction. Um, yeah, so people actually they add a few different oils to that to change and wash out their mouth, basically. <laughs> yeah. Do we, do we talk about... I don't have a huge personal experience with that, with even with working it with other people. You can so share with us your down. addictions. We're, we're all friends here. <laughs> and the world wide internet. Tell us all about your addiction. Yeah. Uh, do we talk about liver and brain? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Support? Okay. All right. Well, yeah. any questions? I got a question. Has anybody used clove for eyes? Um, Not in the eye, obviously, but for <laughs> eye issues. Oh, um, in a way, in a way. Um, we talked about earlier that clove is one of the nine essential oils yeah. in the, the omega. And I've heard mm -hmm. people, and I don't know if it's clove alone or whether it's all the other things in the uh, LLB, um, that they, they can see more clearly or their eyes clear yeah. it up or yeah. they, they can focus more um, after taking that. Like yeah. I said, I don't know if it's the clove, but. Yeah, I had friends that say that could they, be have, the they went back to their, their prescription, the old glasses that they had um, well over 10 years ago. And, um, you know, their glasses were foggy, and, I mean, blurry, and so they could picked up an old pair, and the old pair worked better. And so they, they, it changed the vision. But I did, I had a friend with an infection, an eye infection, and um, she used the on guard oil with the clove oil in there on her, her toes. I told her to put it on her toes. She's like, how am I gonna fix this problem? I said, put it on your toes. Don't put it on your eye. <laughs> Yeah, and within two days it helped. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean it's the antioxidants. I mean, red the, the second and third toes on the toe pad, that's actually the reflex points for the eyes. Yeah, second and third toe on the top pad is the reflex point for the eyes. Huh. <laughs> and they're so important that you need two for each side. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I try. <laughs> you can put your foot down when it's important. 
<laughs> I was just trying to think of some foot joke that I could throw in. <laughs> Thank you guys for participating. Right. Thank you, Ben and Jade. So that, um, any other things you guys would like to contribute before we end this recording? Okay. We're going to end the recording, and those, all those people um, who didn't make it tonight, we're going to tell all, all of our jokes afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for everybody being here.